Hey people, today I want to tell you about an amazing workshop which just took place here in the north of Germany. It was a workshop for all my supporters on Patreon. You probably know this website and I talk about it a lot. Everybody who supports me on Patreon with a small donation every month helps a lot that this channel can stay alive, that I can make weekly videos for you. I want to make more and better videos for you. Maybe invest in better software, better hardware, better location and so on. So everybody who supports me on Patreon helps that I can make more and better videos for you. And everyone who su supports me on Patreon is invited to an exclusive workshop once a year. Last year we talked about musicality and creativity and this year the whole workshop, a whole day was about improvisation. If you can actually learn and practice to improvise and if so, how? And it was an amazing experience. We had a beautiful location here in the north of Germany where probably the workshop will be held again next year. We had people from all over Germany and only Germany this time, so the lessons were held in German. But usually I'm prepared to do this in English because many of you are not from Germany, of course. And yeah, we made a lot of music together. We learned a lot together. We discussed a lot. And uh, we began by just finding the definition of improvisation because there are a lot of misconceptions about this. And as usual, if you actually know the problem, if you understand the question better, the answer is much easier to find. And sometimes if you just talk enough about the question or the problem, the answer arises by itself. So we started by finding the definition for improvisation generally in life and of course on the instrument. And for me one very important aspect is that improvisation always happens in a context. So there is not, uh, uh, many people have this idea that improvisation is just making something out of nothing. But that's not true. You're not making something out of nothing. You're making something out of the things you can play. So you have a certain amount of skills, a certain amount of things in your, in your bag of tricks and you need creativity, the skill of creativity to put them together to make music, to make something beautiful. And also you need to take those things out of your skills that are suitable to this certain situation. So you don't actually need some kind of gift of creativity. You just need the skill of observing in what context you are, listening what the music needs from you and then taking from the skills you already have that one that is suitable here and helps the music. And we talked a lot about how to do exactly that and we tried a lot and it was so amazing that many people were so courageous and um, wanted to demonstrate or try something. Some people even uh, talked to me in the breaks and asked me if they could just try something on stage, just try to play a solo and let everyone comment on that. And that just showed me that there was such an amazing atmosphere of trust because of course, when you improvise, when you play freely, uh, especially as a beginner with not so much experience, this is very frightening. So everybody was extremely respectful of others because everybody knows this feeling of being thrown into a situation not knowing what to do and having to improvise. It was great that everybody had the uh, opportunity to try something, to demonstrate something and the group was very supportive especially when we talked about a very important thing and that is self-confidence. Because you can only be in touch with uh, your own musicality and all the things you can play and play them in the right way if you don't block your access to this. Because anxiety, um, uh, with anxiety you, you have tunnel vision and there is this paradox that when you accept mistakes, if you are ready to make mistakes, then fewer mistakes 
will happen because you just relax and just let it happen. And it was amazing to see many beginners just playing freely, just, as I say, being part of the, of the active and lively flow of music. Not from the outside looking in, but really being inside the music and from inside, growing from the inside out and not trying to make your way in just by practicing, practicing, practicing. You need to play music, you need to be courageous and just start. And of course, there are different levels. Not everybody is equal. Some people are a little bit more anxious and that's totally fine, me too. And uh, for me, it worked just jumping into the cold water on jam sessions, but for many people, they just don't want that. So we had different levels of exercises, how to get to that point. Because, of course, improvisation can happen in different contexts. You can improvise two play-alongs, which is a great practice. You can improvise completely freely with a band or on a jam session, improvising on a song structure of a famous song or of course the free solo on your instrument which by the way also needs some context and some restrictions um, so you really tell a story on your instrument. So we saw that improvisation uh, has different meanings and there are different uh, types of improvisation and these different types can be used for different exercises and in the end we found out, yes, you can uh, learn to improvise. And one big part of that, and that's very important, was just that we took the time. We had, had an, a whole day together and we could just immerse ourselves in the idea of improvising, of playing freely and we had a safe space in which everybody could just try things and uh, we could discuss and help each other and I think it's very important and um, to really immerse yourself in a subject. This is why I like longer workshops or even drum camps over a few days because you don't just get uh, some information and then you go home and try to practice with that. You get to the point where you can really feel what you are talking about. You have an, a lot of opportunities to try it because we played in the group together several times, then reflected on that, then somebody else was trying something on stage, then again something in the group and in the intermissions we discussed the, um, the experiences and so on. And this is why I had so much amazing feedback and people tell me afterwards that they play with more confidence, that they have more, that they're just, um, they're just um, courageous enough to just try and play, just put on some music and play and that this is much fun and this is why I like whole day workshops or even several day workshops because you get to that point where you can really feel that you are able to do this and then you go home with this motivation and practice the exercises we developed in the group. As always, if you want me to give a workshop in your area, please talk to a music school you know or a music shop or any other person who would like to organize such an event and then book me and I will be happy to give workshops every week, everywhere. And if you want to join us at next year's Patreon workshop, then you should register right now. The link is in the description because everyone from level silver and upwards is automatically invited to next year's Patreon workshop and very soon we will speak about the date and the topic and you have a say in this. You can vote for the uh, date that fits your calendar and of course on the topic. And as I said, probably the workshop will be held in Northern Germany next summer again. And I try to uh, let it be an, a whole day workshop again. The location also has apartments, so um, there's no problem in staying there for the night if you have a longer, a longer journey here and back home. And yeah, I just hope to see you there once again. Thank you very, very much to everyone who already supports me and Patreon, but not only the Patreon supporters. 
If you subscribe to this channel, if you like the videos, if you comment the videos, you help a lot because this engagement with the videos helps that the YouTube algorithm shows it to more people. So thank you very much for everyone who supports me here or on Patreon. Hope to see you in the next video next Thursday. Until then, take care and bye bye.